how did our solar system originate? NASA has launched a new mission to try and answer that question. Lucy. We're going to just expand even further the knowledge we have of the solar system within which we live. Could you envision the situation where you've just launched a space probe worth hundreds of millions of dollars and suddenly it appears that all is lost? Shortly after its launch, the Lucy probe sent a remarkable signal that caused quite a commotion at NASA. In this episode, we'll explore how the Trojan probe managed to overcome this initial setback and what challenges the mission is dealing with now. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Lucy is a spacecraft embarking on a unique mission to explore the Trojan asteroids, which are among the least studied celestial bodies in our solar system. These asteroids are intriguing because, despite their close proximity to Jupiter's orbital path, scientists prior to 1906 only hypothesized their existence. It was only since the year 2000, with advancements in our instrumentation, that nearly 4,600 of these asteroids have been observed. Many more may remain undiscovered. What makes these asteroids particularly captivating is their role as a record of the early days of our solar system. Lucy's mission is to visit seven of these ancient asteroids during a single journey, a remarkable feat for a single spacecraft. However, this journey is no simple task. The Trojan asteroids are grouped in clumps, positioned 60 degrees ahead of and behind Jupiter in its orbit, known as Lagrange points. Lucy must visit both of these groups, requiring a complex figure eight trajectory that utilizes Earth's gravity for slingshot maneuvers around the solar system. Fortunately, Lucy is equipped equipped with the necessary tools for this mission, including powerful thrusters, high-resolution cameras to capture images of the visited asteroids, a thermal infrared spectrometer to analyze their composition, and two substantial 7.3-meter diameter solar panels to provide the essential energy for its operation. The Trojans orbit about 740 million kilometers from the Sun, where sunlight is so faint that it pushes the limits of solar-powered spacecraft functionality. Lucy's large Large solar panels were crucial for powering the spacecraft under these conditions. However, shortly after launch, NASA discovered that one of Lucy's solar panels failed to fully open, posing a significant challenge. Due to their size, these panels had to be folded during the launch to fit inside the Atlas V rocket. Motors were supposed to activate in space, deploying the panels like massive sails. Unfortunately, while one panel fully extended and latched into its open position, the second panel failed to do so. The exact cause of this failure was unknown, as none of Lucy's cameras were pointed at the spacecraft itself. This problem needed to be resolved before Lucy reached the Trojans or performed the extensive thruster burns required for its journey, as an unattached panel could potentially bend or snap, leading to a loss of power and the termination of the mission. NASA started searching for clues about the solar panel's power. They wanted to make sure that Lucy's solar panel was open enough to generate the electricity it needed. They figured out that it had to be between 75 and 95% open for everything to work well. This was good news because it meant Lucy could have enough power when it was near Earth and they had some time to fix any problems. But they needed more exact information to fix the issue, and it was as tricky as trying to know how many fingers someone is holding up when you can't see. Over the next few months, scientists found a clever way to get the information they needed. They gently made Lucy's thrusters vibrate a bit. Lucy's sensors recorded these vibrations, like checking how much a rubber band stretches. By watching these changes, they could figure out exactly how much the solar panel had opened. It was a bit like guessing how many fingers someone had raised by seeing how their hand moves, or more precisely, by measuring how much their arm stretches. This method didn't rely on human senses like touch or hearing, but instead used the right tools and really good computer programs that NASA has. With this new data, they discovered the problem. It turned out to be a tangled cord that was supposed to help open the solar panel. During the launch, this cord got all messed up and the solar panel got stuck before it could fully open. Back on Earth, scientists recreated the problem using a model of Lucy and thought of ways to fix it. With the better information, they knew that Lucy's solar panel was between 345 and 360 degrees open, and it was making 90% of the power it was supposed to. They had two options. They could use the spacecraft's motors to try and open the panel more, 
but this could cause more problems if something broke. Or they could leave it as it was at 90%, but this might make Lucy less safe during strong thrusts and could limit what Lucy could do in its mission. After months of careful deliberation, a compromise was reached. The team executed a meticulous maneuver, incrementally tugging a cord linked to Lucy's solar panel using both the main and backup motors. Progress was made in measured intervals, pausing regularly to ensure optimal conditions and prevent overheating. This technique facilitated the solar panel's extension to a remarkable range of 353 to 357 degrees, nearing the full 360 degree span. While not entirely locked, the cord's tension proved effective. By August 2022, a decade after Lucy's launch, NASA possessed unwavering confidence in its ability to perform high-speed maneuvers. Lucy prepared for its initial substantial maneuver upon returning to Earth, embarking on a calculated plunge to harness a speed boost. The fascinating aspect lay in its approach from behind, leveraging Earth's gravitational pull for acceleration. A different angle would result in deceleration. Lucy's deep dive, coming within 350 kilometers of Earth's surface, maximized this gravitational advantage. However, this maneuver carried inherent risks. The space environment now hosts approximately 47,000 satellites and debris fragments, necessitating Lucy's safe traversal through this potential hazard zone. While the expanse of space reduces collision probabilities, they remain non-negligible. Even the International Space Station adjusted its course 31 times since 1999 to avert potential mishaps. Amid this crowded celestial landscape, vigilant monitoring is crucial. A single misaligned satellite poses a significant threat to Lucy's mission integrity. To avoid this, NASA started looking at the sky in the days before Lucy's arrival to see what was out there and if there were any potential risks. If there was even a very small chance of something hitting Lucy, NASA would need to change its path. Surprisingly, help came from a new organization called the U.S. Space Force, which started keeping a record of and watching objects moving in this area. Both NASA and the U.S. Space Force care about space and Earth's orbit and want to prevent big collisions up there. They work together to figure out a safe path for Lucy. Lucy flew across our skies on October 16, 2022. People in Western Australia could see it shining very brightly in the sky for a short time. It was even brighter than the International Space Station. Then, it moved into Earth's shadow and disappeared for about 20 minutes. Later, when it passed over the Western United States, it reappeared and continued its journey into space. During this time, Lucy took a picture of the Earth, specifically Ethiopia, as it flew over. The spacecraft was named after the ancient fossil of a human ancestor called Lucy, which was found in Ethiopia in 1974. It serves as a reminder of its mission to discover the remains of asteroids from our early solar system, not bones like the original Lucy. When NASA named the spacecraft, they also made a reference to the famous Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. They attached a disc made of lab-grown diamonds to one of Lucy's scientific instruments, but this was purely for scientific purposes. Lucy, amidst its busy scientific work, observed the asteroid Palomiel passing in front of a star and discovered it had a small satellite. This added a new target for its mission, bringing the total to nine. After a gravity dive in 2024, Lucy will study its first target, Donald Johansson, in 2025, then head to the Trojan asteroids in 2027. Scientists anticipate more discoveries, making Lucy a promising spacecraft in the uncharted world of the Trojans.